r slash ask reddit nsfw what makes a woman good in bed i am a late bloomer and i have always heard my friends that are male saying things like the sex was bad when talking about a girl so what makes a girl good in bed don't just lay there when she sincerely genuinely wants to have sex with you and tells you how much she enjoys it while doing it being enthusiastic open adventurous and comfortable with her body not being afraid to let loose explore and talk dirty nothing's hotter than a girl who's comfortable in her own skin insecurity is the enemy of good sex no question the silent starfish is bad enthusiasm communication sex is something i want to do with a woman not to them good in bed is relative but my checklist is pretty straightforward doesn't hog the blankets doesn't put her freezing cold feet on my thighs at 4 a.m doesn't eat cookies in the bed being involved actually moving and being engaged directing and giving insight into what they like having some semblance of being interested in your pleasure also and what feels good for you i have had hours long sex that was technically bad but it was also great fun i.e as an activity being close to someone even if it was not good for the overall getting off etc just be enthusiastic and willing to try things make noises that's the good stuff when she really enjoys it and lets you know some of that will be on you to make sure she actually is enjoying it enthusiasm enjoy yourself it is okay to tell your partner what you want or don't want if it feels amazing for you you'll want to make it amazing for them don't put too much stress on yourself i mean let's be real both men and women are equally likely to be bad in bed which mostly comes down to people's preferences and compatibility enthusiastic consent suggestions not making you do the work my wife before she was my wife was down to change positions multiple times was also down for extensive foreplay she was active in saying what she wanted and knew how to please me previous girls i dated were very vanilla i would suggest things to them and they got weirded out but they were tame like how is wanting to have sitting down sex on the couch while facing the mirror weird sex is usually an act seen by men and accepted by many women as something we do to them when a woman makes us feel as if we are having sex with them it elevates the experience show enthusiasm act with passion and attempt to read our bodies in the same way you expect from us it's as simple and as difficult as that i'm afraid the only thing you need to do is just be present not just physically but just as important mentally worst sex is with a starfish i have always wondered this myself it depends on the guy as all men like different things also i've been confused by starfish because during missionary they don't want you to move so what are you supposed to do confidence presentation and recognizing that sex is supposed to be fun and to not take it so seriously the bar is insanely low any effort whatsoever basically anything you like when done to you a guy probably likes when done to him all the lady bits are homologous structures find the corresponding man bit and do something similar it's honestly that dead simple but most women don't try if you want super bonus points learn how to tease and itch most women don't care about a man's orgasm so long as his lack of orgasm doesn't affect the woman's self-esteem they literally don't even realize there are varying levels of quality to men's orgasm again literally all you have to do is try women make posts and comments complaining that men don't make enough noise in bed 
and I bet you most have never even kissed their man's neck for more than 10 seconds, even after being told to, much less having done so of their own initiative. Effort, eye contact, ask your partner what they want. What kind of things do men like to hear during sex? And for writing, what do men prefer? She actually wants to be having sex with me and not just want sex with any man. That's always a good starting point I feel. It's not cliche, it's the energy and chemistry. Girls have a bayot habit of thinking that the body makes the better sex or that's what all guys want. 100% false. It's the vibe as a whole honestly. It's the impression she leaves that makes it memorable and good. This can be different for everyone. Was it the eye contact, the passion, the enthusiasm, the pace, positions, etc. It varies. Consent and enthusiasm. Give him amazing head. Enthusiasm slash passion, taking active part, if you hear a man call her a starfish it means she was just laying there super passive, not using teeth. High fives at the end. When she's DTF. Like she's initiating it, enthusiastic like LFG I'm here to get my cheeks clapped. I think girls don't know this because they're so used to being led on that they don't even try. In my experience their difference between good and bad has been simple. Women who are good in bed are horny, in the moment and want to be having sex. Women who are bad in bed are the ones who are having sex because their partner wants it and they are just willing to be involved. For me, being present in the moment. Loads of eye contact. Enthusiasm. Not in the sense of going hot wild, but leaving me with no doubt that she wants to be there, that I'm not just being used to scratch an itch. Participation. Nothing worse than a starfish or a pillow princess. Bad equals laying there like a dead fish. Not communicating. Good equals being proactive in making your partner feel good. Don't be lazy. Enthusiasm and confidence. Passion is the most important thing. What makes the sex great is a good matching energy between both people, communication, and patience. Enthusiasm. A degree of enthusiasm, and telling me what she needs me to do to help get get off. I find sex is much more enjoyable when I know she is satisfied too. Chemistry, emotionally and physical, for me. Variation in sex practices are a nice bonus though. Enthusiasm. Skills can be learned, passion comes from inside. Yo be stiff like a cardboard. Enthusiasm. Telling me what she wants, trying new things. Being able to be herself and open. Missionary, flexible with her legs both vertically and horizontally. Neck kissing and sucking without leaving a mark. Stays in rhythm. Light but intense moaning beats manic screaming. Doggy, gotta stay in rhythm. Either I do most of the work or you, but it can't be both of us. Also I'll let you ladies in on a secret, for some guys, if you're a dead fish in bed, but your vagina itself is good, then you're good in bed. Yes, the feel of the vagina itself is a factor. If you're an acrobat in bed but you have wetness issues, some guys might consider you bad in bed. There's lube, it's just not quite the same. She's not wet. That's a major mental hit for a guy. Being active, taking control sometimes, and leaving control to the partner at other times. She stays on her side, doesn't snore and doesn't move around too much. That really turns me on. Have sex, not get fucked. If she likes what I like he, g, cuckolding, talking, etc. I'm very mental with my sex which I think is less common being a dude. On the physical side of things I enjoyed the one woman who would squeeze her vagina. Also, 
if you're on top, I always found just grinding horizontally not great. It's more difficult but getting some vertical motion on top is great. I've had a decent number of partners so I can form a bit of a rank in my head as to what was great but remember, it's all going to be subjective. She brings tacos. She rides on top, shows or bounces around ass, she makes noises, knows what she wants or tells you, lasts longer than two minutes, cares about pleasing you, is explorative, fun, and the list goes on. Enthusiasm. Seriously. That's all you need, to shine. Same thing that makes guys good in bed, I sleep with both. Number one is enthusiasm, like I can tell they really want to be there and are into it. Some people are quiet by nature, or stiff, or seem incredibly distracted. It's just how they are, but the question was what makes someone good in bed, so that's my honest answer. If she's totally into it, but she doesn't act like she's totally into it, it's not very fun. Second is that she gives two fucks about my pleasure. I've still gotten with pillow princesses who warned me fair and square before the fact. But I've found it's better if we're both trying to please each other. I prefer teamwork. I don't know about my technical skills, but the most consistent feedback I've gotten from men is I made them feel wanted and desired and that was a big deal to them. You can just straight up tell them I've gotta have you or the way you're touching me right now is driving me wild. We all want to feel wanted. But guys especially have told me that it was extra nice to be seduced. So do with that what you will. Enthusiasm, a little bit of effort, being into it and your partner. The rest of it sorts itself out with practice. Don't make a load of fake over top noise, don't be afraid to express what you like, and ask for it, and you'll be golden. Enthusiasm. That's all. Enthusiasm. Participate. The girl is actually into it wanting to please him as much as he pleases her try new things learns what feels good for him actually cares really the same way it is supposed to be for both. Enthusiasm and confidence in what you enjoy. Play around, learn what you like too. It's not just about them. You ever hear an A for effort? It's really that simple. You can't be expected talk no or do everything. But effort and some effing and why asim gets an A. In today's day and age, anything besides a being stiff as a board slash being silent is a pass. To be honest, you have to try really hard to be bad in bed if you are a woman. What makes sex great, is connection. If you are both truly connected. Want to be there and are active and have fun. Humor is important as well, don't take yourself so seriously. Light candles, dim lights, look into the eyes, hold hands. If by sex you mean rubbing bodies then a body is what you need. If by sex you mean actually sharing a moment you need to try to feel the other. You need to show your partner that you are with them, in the moment, and that their behavior is normal and okay. It truly most of the time is not actually about you at all. We are all nervous about our bodies and personality. This is really important with introverted partners. Getting their partner off. There's no straight answer. One position slash technique won't work for everyone. Find what works for that person and boom. Reciprocation. Be active and enjoy yourself. You have to move to and feel it. And let them feel that you're in the mood and you want them. Nothing wrong with also playing with yourself while you're doing it, don't know for all guys but the ones I know of go crazy for it. Confidence. Be engaged, attentive, playful, know what you want and make sure you really like the person. Don't be afraid to explore, with consent. Show some enthusiasm. If you want the cock then make sure he understands it. Be greedy, ask for it, show where you want it. Ride, use hands to shove it in. 
show him you want sex, do not lie there as a body and expect him to just know how and if you want him. Good, eye contact bad, little to no movement good, grabbing things, bits, hair, butt, anything bad, not deciding anything, position, pace, etc. Good, enthusiasm, wanting sex and accepting that it's okay to desire sex. Where the woman knows exactly what she wants during sex. Effort. Enthusiasm. Don't be afraid to let your intrusive thoughts win. If he is giving you good dick and you just want to reach out and grab him close to you and thrust into him do it. But it takes practice. You can also watch ethical porn, this helped me a lot in the bedroom. It doesn't show unrealistic sex and it also gives you insight into what you might like to try in a safe and non-objectifying way. I hope I made sense. But the shortcut to all of this is to listen to what your body wants to do. Note that you guys should talk about your no-go areas first so you don't cross the line with each other. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you have enjoyed this video and subscribe to never miss an upload.